History was made in dramatic fashion at the Belmont Stakes. Justify, the aforementioned Justify, powering to victory and winning the Triple Crown. He's only the 13th horse ever to do so. ABC's Zachary Keish right there at Belmont Park with all the excitement. Zachary, good morning to you. Good morning, Dan and Paula. Hey, Justify, what can I say? What a name and what a story. Just an incredible finish here yesterday at Belmont. Uh, you can see some trainers just behind me here today and a few signs that there was a good party here yesterday, but for the most part, it is all ours. This horse went down the stretch to win the Triple Crown and in the process, earned that legendary status. Kowski, he's just perfect, and now he's just immortal! History has just been made. Justify, running into the record books, becoming only the second Triple Crown winner with an undefeated record. From the moment he charged through the gates, they're off in the 150th Belmont Stakes. No one could catch his lead. And Justify comes roaring home. The thoroughbred becoming just the 13th horse to sweep all three races. From that breakout performance at the Kentucky Derby, Justify has won the Kentucky Derby. Then, conquering the competition at the Preakness. Justify, he's unstoppable. Now in front of a crowd of 90,000, Justify clinching the Triple Crown. Hall of Fame trainer Bob Baffert knows a thing or two about winning. In 2015, he ushered American Pharaoh into the winner's circle, the last horse to win the Triple Crown. Now with Justify, he's a two-time champ. He's just to train a, a horse like that. He's just a magnificent animal. and I, I'm just glad that I got a chance to, to, to train a horse like that. And 52-year-old Mike Smith becoming the oldest jockey to win the Triple Crown. He made my dream come true. It's all about timing. Just ask that Hall of Fame jockey Smith becoming the oldest in his profession to accomplish that feat and justify knocking out 35 horses on his way to Triple Crown glory. Dan and Paula, back to you. We didn't have to wait long for another winner. It was just, just happened a couple of years ago. Three and, years ago yeah. and our resident horse racing expert, I was our not resident there. Equin. I was not there he yesterday. Was at, I should have the, been there. At the I didn't think Justify was going to win. Um, obviously, did. obviously, I was wrong. I was there in 77, Seattle Slough, 78 affirmed. A great race. And uh, three years ago when American Pharaoh won. I have my winning tickets from 77. In 2015, I can't buy my 78 <laughs> winning ticket, which Where is, is, which is a bit annoying. You go to the track just about every day. What's well, a different uh, when, when there's the, the Belmont Stakes happening for a triple crown? You know, 100,000 people out there, normally there's only five or 10,000, and the roar of that crowd when those horses come yeah. around for the final stretch run is an absolutely amazing experience. But I got a question for you, which has come up, what came up when Secretariat uh, won back in 73. Is a horse, a racing horse, an athlete? What do you think? Oh. I thought only humans. I think Secretary was athlete of the year in '73. Uh -huh. Is it a horse, a racehorse, an oh. athlete? I mean, they're more something to think about. Is it, it's not a trick question. No, 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 no. It's just it's their opinion. It's not home. <laughs> let, let us know on Twitter. I'm not, okay? Just let that <laughs> ruminate really a little bit. A That's a great athlete. question. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.